Support us by subscribing, ring the notification bell, press all, and thumbs up. The Maxil Facial Prosthetic Section at the San Antonio Military Medical Center focuses on helping those that have suffered deformities and in many so ways. Find a, way to see see a lot of different wounded warrior type patients, also a lot of oral cancer type patients, and we basically uh, rebuild people's you know, ocular prosthesis for eyes, ears, noses, anything that has to do with intraoral. One wounded warrior has been visiting the folks at Maxil Facial Prosthetics since 2013. I was injured on the, the 14th of May. I woke up here on the 15th of the next month. Um, the first thing I saw was my wife, and she had uh, my son. Uh, my son was born a month prior to my injury, so it was quite an uh, eye-opening experience, if I should say that. Staff Sergeant Ayers and his squad were patrolling the Zari district of Afghanistan when several improvised explosive devices detonated there were several American casualties. Since his return to the U.S., Sergeant Ayers has received treatment for his injuries, as well as a prosthetic eye. Uh, when I came in, I was constantly asked about the injuries, and it wasn't on the terms of, oh, you know, what actually happened? It was more of, I can't believe that happened. Now this evens the playing field whenever we speak to people, it makes it an open conversation, and much more enjoyable on both parties. Besides the missing eye, he also sustained significant nerve damage, but that hasn't stopped him. I've completed several big runs. We've done two half marathons, one in Florida and one here. They said I would never be able to walk. They said I was a possibility of being a vegetable, having paralysis that would run through most of my body. But it's all about being positive. You stay constructive. And, uh, you know, no one walks backwards. We're constantly moving forward. So if you're always looking to the, to the past, you're, you're not going to go anywhere, and you will learn that quickly here from the people that are around you and the people that want to help you. Staff Sergeant Ayers is leaving the Army, but he'll most likely see his friends at the medical center many times after this. Senior Airman Alex Goad, Fort Sam Houston, Texas. Um, Ayers looks really good.